All right, everybody. So today we're actually going to be using Raphael Fazeev. And man, Raphael Fazeev, he's so quick and powerful in this game, man. He's definitely a must use for anybody who plays this game. If you're a new player, if you're an actual good player, man, I highly recommend you try Raphael Fazeev. And tell me how y'all think about him in the comments, definitely. And um, yeah, let's just jump straight into these fights. Y'all will not believe the match I just played against a Charles Oliveira, honestly. Y'all wouldn't believe it, bro. Y'all wouldn't believe it. Let me tell y'all this story, man. Um, so, so it was it was terribly lagging. It was it was really bad. Charles Oliver on Wi-Fi. Like, what do you expect, right? Bro it was spamming takedowns. It was lagging so bad that I it was hard to deny them. It was hard. It was crazy hard to deny them. And then he was spamming submissions. And y'all know how submissions are in this game. Basically, uh, if, a, if, a, if a fighter is like is really good at submissions, the more they keep trying the submission, the more your stamina is going to go down. Isn't that crazy? And so, bro, I escaped two of his submissions, right? And then he kept spamming the clinch, spamming the clinch, spamming clinch, spamming clinch. And then he got me down. Because I kept denying all of his takedowns. Okay, bro. The knees, dude. No, come here. Another knee, a spinning back fist. All right. Let me guess you're going to jump. Yeah, when I get up, it's time to put him to bed, honestly. Let me guess you're going to posture up or go for a submission. Y'all are so y'all are so predictable. Y'all are so predictable. Side control. Side control. Side control. No, no, Charles. No, Charles. No, no, no. You want to wrestle? Let's wrestle. You want to wrestle? You want to jump? I'm going to show you a jumper. I'm going to show you a jumper. I'm going to show you a jumper. I'm going to show you a jumper, actually. I'm going to show you a jumper. Go ahead, throw the glitch kick again, please. Please throw the glitch kick again. Left hook, body, body. One, two, three. Actually, I'm not even going to jump. I'm just going to knock him out. I'm just going to put him to sleep. I'm just going to pull him to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Of course he quits the game. Why wouldn't he? Hey, bro, let's get into the next one, man. Bro, why every time I do a video on, like, a striker, dude, we always get this action venue? Bro, I'm tired of this venue, honestly. I am. I'm, like, like I'm actually tired of you playing on this venue stage cage or whatever you want to call it bro but show must go on show must go on he's just in turkey for tony ferguson that's fine tony finna get put to sleep respectively come on now come on dude Okay, so what he's doing wrong, honestly, I didn't even mean to do that little head movement. What he's doing wrong is that he's not setting his feet. So a lot of his strikes are going to come out real winded and sloppy. Look at that, you see? I see when I'm setting my feet, I'm, I'm winning most of these exchanges. Comes into elbow. You know what, man? I love it. I love it. A knee. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so now he's throwing double up. Double up there. <laughs> I can't even talk, bro. Now he's throwing double uppercuts. Y'all know what I say about people who throw double uppercuts? You basically trying to do the most damage to get your opponent away from you, bro. Basically, they're scared. They're scared. Yeah, it's getting bad for you, Tony. Five star switching to the body, to the belly button. There we go. Oh man, it's getting bad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hey man, let's get another one, man. No, that was crazy. But no, but GG's though. But definitely GG's. Alright, y'all. So 
I decided to go on ranked and we are playing Lord Great, Lord the Great. I haven't played ranked in none this season. They're putting me up against Division 14. That's uh that's uh UFC 4 logic for you. He picked Connor. We're definitely uh better stat wise. He didn't want to touch glove, which is fine. You know, which is fine. I really don't don't care. Um, but the thing with Connor, he's throwing a lot. He's throwing that weird rear hook a lot. Okay, he's very, very aggressive. Maybe another sign of ego fighting, but yo, this dude doesn't care what's going on, man. Yeah, Machida. Wow, bro. The fact, the fact, the fact Connor, the fact Connor can actually. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, we're back up. We're back up, Connor. We're back up, Connor. Okay, let's wait until our stamina comes back so we can posture up. Okay, he goes to half guard. So he actually might want to wrestle. Oh my goodness, he pre denied. Man, y'all know me, man. If you initiate the wrestling, I'm going to wrestle with you. No doubt about it. Yeah, I'm going to wrestle with you, no doubt about it. You went in the half guard. He could have went to sprawl, and I would have got right up. <laughs> I would have got up. Okay, so it looks like he wants to get up now, so. Wow. Okay. Machida. Yeah, I can do that same thing. I can do that same thing, Connor. And give me that leg, too. Mm. He's so disoriented. He's so disoriented. Yeah, that was obvious. Yeah, that was obvious. No, no, Connor. No. No, give me that leg. Man, Connor in this game is so powerful. Okay. Oh. Oof. Oof. I feel a front kick coming. Okay. A kick definitely came. Something came. Pause. Knocked him out with a jab. <laughs> Bro, I knocked him out with a jab, man. That is crazy. Nah, that was crazy. Nah, I'm going to say good fight. I'm going to say good fight. I have nothing to say. Y'all know when I play against a toxic player, bro, and I eat. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm not a trash talker, especially if I get the win. It's like, bro, I won. I don't I don't need to really prove anything else. Um, so man, Let's get in one more. Honestly, let's get in one more. Honestly, bro, um, we're going to have to keep it on the feet. But Neil, he has pretty good jujitsu, I ain't going to lie, and pretty good wrestling. But his striking is, like, basically nothing compared to ours, so... His name is Type 2 Bot Diabetes, and that's actually crazy. So, let's just see what we can do, man, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's get it. All right, so I want to keep it pretty clean, especially against uh, Benil. Okay, so he's coming out pretty aggressive. Coming out pretty aggressive. And he definitely should calm down, especially going against somebody like Rafael Vaziv. Okay, yeah, there we go. He started fast, so he can get get, uh, get down to the uh, ground faster. Oh, please. There we go. No, I'm here. No, I'm here. Okay, let's back up, get our stamina. All right. 
I definitely didn't try to be weird with that elbow. Wow. I tried to throw a... a Y'all know, y'all know this. I tried to throw this, that, because I knew that was gonna catch him, and it would have. This game wasn't weird. Yeah, but now, oh my goodness, man, we get it. You want, you want to land the elbow. We get it. You want to land the elbow, Benil. We get it, Benil. Oh yeah, you getting taken down. Yeah, it's time to wrestle. Looking at. <laughs> Oh, me and you thought of the same thing. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Look how badly he wants to wrestle. Look how badly he wants to wrestle. Look how badly. Front kick. Good night. Good night. Hey, man. I'm going to end it right here, man. We got some good games. Good games in with uh, Rafael Vaziv, man. What I recommend y'all use him? Yes, please. Yes, please use him. He's a monster. He hits like a truck. He's quick. He's nice and clean. He doesn't have the best cardio, so be careful of throwing a lot with him. Um, and yeah. And y'all see right there, I started moving forward simply because um, you can't shoot a takedown in somebody's face while they're throwing combinations. So I moved forward, got in his face, and made sure he didn't throw those combinations. And uh, yeah, love y'all. See you on the next one.